No girl is, is, is physically ready when she's nine years old, and she was playing with dolls and, li- and watching entertainment. Okay, I can say no, no, nobody Turkish is. People, nobody. Arabs, yes. Arabs, no. uh, come on, man. You no. stay with the Arabs. I no. lived with them for 40 years, man. I know how Arab girls are, man. Uh, is it okay today for a 50-something-year-old man to marry a six-year-old child and have sex with her when she is nine years, years old, just like Mohammed did back then with Aisha? She is sound and she is agreeing to marry and she is physically ready for it, I say yes. If, if the law says no, I go by the law. And a nine-year-old girl is not uh, okay. bodily ready to uh, have sex and to bear who, children who, just because just because she starts it? bleeding. It's science, but this? basic Come biology on. says okay. that... This one coming in from Ali, Nassar Ahmad says, if Muhammad was sent four all times, why did he marry six-year-old Aisha if it's usual Arab tradition back then? But then why marry his daughter-in-law to break the same traditions he has to be educated properly if he has to understand then he has to go back to uh, listen i can justify that but because the people at that time they had no problem the father of aisha had no problem aisha she didn't have any problem and the arabs at that time nobody has ever said to him that you are pedophile and you're having a sex with the six years old girl and people they say to you that abdul majid if somebody comes he is 52 years old and if he, if he wants to marry your daughter will you allow i'll say i'll say yes if he is of the caliber of prophet's character Definitely, because I know what is marriage, because this is what the people, it's good that you people are using the word marriage. But here in this world, day and age today, this the school teachers, I'm in education, I know, school teachers are raping the young girls and nobody raised the issues about that. Is it okay and today? Prophet, prophet, prophet is not raping her. Prophet, is, prophet did not kidnap her. Prophet did not flutter her and made her girlfriend and then took her in the party, gave her uh, dates with her and slept with her for so many days and acquainted her with the sex. And then he went to his father, her father and said, okay, now I want to marry your daughter. No. They were even Shay, James, can I ask a very short, can I ask a very short question that you can very briefly I, answer? I, I, very briefly. We have so many more that I, if you're willing to wait for a future one, just because we have so so many questions still. Okay. How, I, how about this? This will be this will be this will be one of this will be one of two. Maybe okay. I, I will I will not insist any further. Just this one question, uh, Doctor Abdul Majid, uh, is it okay today for a fifty-something-year-old man to marry a six-year-old child and have sex with her when she is nine years years old, just like Mohammed did back then with Aisha? If not, why not? Can you pr- please very briefly okay, answer this? Okay, now my answer to you. Do you know was she a young girl or she was a woman, young woman? What is it? How do you understand? The she English? was she was six years old or and, and nine years old at the at the consummation. That doesn't matter what yeah, else so is there. Was it a girl? Was it a small girl or was it a young woman? We don't really know the details, but we could assume that a nine year old so girl is on is by standard. Uh, it's relevant. But can you answer the question? Something you are not sure of it. Can that's, you answer the question? The my my question was. My question was not about the about I'm what saying, she is. My yes, question was about the age. Yes, I can. You have to. You have to go and visit the Brazil. There are women at the same age in Brazil. There are women at the age of nine. They are married. Okay, so go and ask them. We don't ask to. me. But you don't know. You even don't know that Aisha was a woman or a girl. That's the same shame for the people asking about our mother, our uh, believer, our mother, and they don't know whether she was a girl or she was a woman. A nine-year-old girl is not a woman. a woman. This one coming in from Arn. This is for both of you. It says, question for apostate prophet as well as Abdul. Dr. Abdul says, Aisha was betrothed to marry Muhammad at six years old. What did Muhammad see in this six-year-old? Intellectual challenge or human admiration or something else? I don't know. I think I think Dr. Abdul Majid could could answer this in a better way. I think, to, in my opinion, uh, Prophet Muhammad was interested in a little girl. He also expressed before in his time the wish to. Uh, he saw a baby crawling, and he said, "If this uh, girl gets older, or or I want to marry this girl if she gets older, or something like that." He said that as well, and he wanted to marry Aisha when she was six years old. He had a sexual intercourse with her when she was nine, which is uh, just uh, terrible. It's useless to 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 argue whether she was a woman or not. She was a nine year old is not a woman by any standard. That's just my opinion. It's problematic. Can, can you prove that? Can you prove that there is no nine years old cannot be a woman? I'm saying it's it's like even if no, it's what a, is your standard? No, what is your standard? Is <laughs> even, even if it's a big exception that a nine year old girl has somehow is, is beginning okay, her, then, her, then, her her menstruation period. No, <clears throat> no objection. 
Rasul okay. sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not marry a girl who was not a woman. Somebody who's a girl who's a girl who starts woman. bleeding is not a woman. He, she's not ready to have sexual interactions. You, you have works. to give me the definition when a person is said to be a woman. You have to give me. That's arbitrary. You know, I'm speaking of the biological standards. Uh, and and can, a, can, a nine a nine year old girl is not uh, okay. bodily ready to uh, have sex and to bear who, children who, just because just because she starts this? bleeding. Science, but this? basic Rizwan, biology says okay. that this is Rizwan, this is the beginning of my, the development. You have my email, Ridwan. You have my email. You can give me the reference where the science says that. Okay, please. Okay, I'll, I will. I okay, I will. Okay. Then Quick Lemon says, for Doctor Abdul, I left Islam after converting it to it due to the Aisha marriage. You will say it was common for the time, but that does not make it right. West has moved on from this, but it is still in Muslim societies today. Is that true? No, no, it's not there today. Give me one example where the woman is like, you know, if she's not a woman and somebody married her. You got That's it. That's not permissible. Our, our books of juris, uh, jurisprudence, they speak about it. And they say that once a woman has reached the age of puberty and rushed, Quran says rushed which is that means she is mentally and physically prepared for the marriage and which we believe which Ridwan couldn't say anything about Aisha which we know about her because we have studied she is the most knowledgeable person at the age of 18 she was one of the well known scholars of her time so we know who was she and definitely she was a woman at that time and now Islam says that a woman has to be physically and mentally ready for the marriage then only she can be married regardless of her age no no girl is is, is physically ready when she's nine years old and she was playing with dolls and, and watching people, entertainment okay, I can say no, no nobody is people, nobody but Arabs yes Arabs no. are, come on man you stay no. with the Arabs I lived no. with them for 40 years man I know how Arab girls are man <laughs> next up Kazmi says children marriage is R-A-P-E disregarding circumstances do you agree dr abdul i will agree by the law and i have the conditions that if a woman is in the country where the law says this that if a woman is mentally sound which she can say yes or no for her marriage because there's no forced marriage in islam women's permission has must be taken so that means she is sound and she is agreeing to marry and she is physically ready for it I say yes. But if she doesn't if respond, that means she has no, agreed. If, if the law says no, I go by the law. But if she doesn't say so anything, the then her no. silence is her consent, right? Yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> so why would she remain silent, Ridwan? Why would she remain silent? Why would she remain silent? <laughs> for Ridwan, many, for many different reasons. For, for fear, Ridwan, for being you, forced into it, for so many reasons. Ridwan, you grew up in a different world. Your family life is a different thing. Ask my five daughters. Two of them are married. And I never ever told them that this is this and this is that. And it goes against your will. No. Okay, but you, are, you, your personal experience doesn't matter. We're talking about what is... What is my personal experience is Islam. Ridwan, my personal experience, I'm not the one who makes the law. I follow Islam. And this is what Islam teaches me, okay. so I'm responsible for that. Okay, so yes. you are Islam. Okay. Coming in from Zagros. Yes, I'm Islam, yes. Zagros Azkan says, James, you shouldn't misinterpret my words. <laughs>